Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letter Kenny IT. What we're going to look at in this video is how to put in page numbers. Um, we'll quickly put in a table of contents and we'll have different page numbering on the first few pages of your documents than on the main body of your document. So uh, I have a document open here and I've used uh, different heading one and heading two styles throughout the document. So if you see, if I click onto business letters here, heading one is selected and this heading here is a, is a smaller subheading like heading two. So I'm just going to click at the start of my document and quickly insert a table of contents. So I'm going to click on uh, References, Table of Contents, Automatic Table 2. And in pops uh, a table of contents. Now we actually don't want this to be on the same page as our table of contents. Our table of contents is in here um, and uh, we don't really want it on the same page. So. <coughs> What we're going to do then is go to page layout and click on breaks and we're going to put in a section break. Now the reason for that is that we want the first few pages of our documents including the table of contents to have Roman numerals, those little I, IV type numbering and on the rest of the document we want about the fourth or fifth page in to start with page number one. So physically the fourth piece of paper starts on page one and so that's a different section is how you do it in Microsoft Word. So we click on next page, uh, so a section break next page, that was section break next page and if you see here I've got a section break next page. Now on your machine that mightn't show up. If you click on this show hide button here it shows and hides your page breaks and your section breaks. Um, so now we have two sections in our document, but Word, when we start off, connects those two sections together. So the first thing we need to do is we need to unhook the two sections. Um, so to do that, we click on Insert Footer and we click on Edit Footer. Now, uh, when you're in this toolbar here, we're in the Header and Footer uh, Tools uh, tab over here. Uh, you'll see down here we're in the footer of section 2 and the footer of section 2 is linked, it's same as previous, it's linked to the section 1 footer. So that means anything we do in the section 1 footer will also happen in the section 2 footer. Now we don't want that to happen. So we're going to unlink the two uh, footers. So we now have two footers that are working independently. So we're in the section 2 which is the main part of our um, document. So we're going to click on page number, bottom of page and I'm just going to pick, pick a plain um, number 2. Okay and uh, sometimes that comes up as page 4 or whatever so we're just going to go page number, format page numbers and in here if continue from previous was selected, make sure start at number one is selected and the format is one, two, three. Start at number one, form number format is one, two, three and OK. OK, so that's the second half of the page numbering done. We now need to go to the first half of our document. So up here I'm going to click on previous and you can see we're now in the footer of section one. So we're going to go page number, bottom of page and play number two. But we don't really want the number three, we want Roman numerals in here. So page number, format page numbers. Up here we're going to choose uh, simple Roman numerals, start at number one and OK. So now I'm just going to come out of my header and footer section and we'll have a look and we can see that our table of contents has the Roman numerals and when we scroll down, I'm just scrolling down here, you can see in here, this starts at number one. Okay, that's the end of this video.